daughter of Todd Schoenberger at Landcult, and Yuri Mann, uh, who joins us from Fort Lauderdale. Um, Yuri, what do you think? I mean, is, is, you know, Buffett's concerns initially were, hey, Kraft, you're paying too much for this, or you're valuing, uh, you're undervaluing the Kraft stock price. Um, what do you think now? I mean, is this too much to pay for the, the well-known British candy company? I don't think so. You know, I think it's a sweet deal, uh, no pun intended. You know, this is a good opportunity for Kraft to get into markets they don't currently uh, have a foothold in. Uh, Cadbury has, uh, is, a, is a number one confectionery in Thailand, Egypt, Mexico, uh, has a very strong foothold, and also in Brazil and India, which are very interesting uh, for Kraft. And they also uh, distribute their products through convenience stores where they have a higher profit margin. Um, which uh, in Kraft usually distributes its products through grocery stores. So uh, this is an opportunity for Kraft to get new distribution, right. and I believe it's a good deal. Hats off to Irene for doing it and getting it done. Um, I think at the, end, at the end of the day, there are going to be a lot of uh, management controls that are still going to be held by the Cadbury executives, uh, because to get this deal done, I think that's probably what was required. And speaking but, uh, of... Overall, um, I think it's a good deal for Kraft. Of Irene yeah. Rosenfeld, the CEO that you were just referenced, a conference, a reference, a conference call that's going on right now, she said said the deal is about uh, growth, increased investment in Cadbury's icon iconic uh, brands, and sees the credit agencies confirming the investment grade rating on Kraft. Now, the chief financial officer adding that uh, Kraft would be quite surprised, Todd, if there is a counter bidder. So at this point, you feel like it's safe to say this is done, Hershey, Ferrero are, are out of the running? Absolutely. And a $19.6 billion deal, it's going to be hard for those other companies, especially Hershey, to come up with that kind of cash to actually move into the front position here. I don't see it happening. And actually, this is a great deal for Kraft. Um, it adds a little bit of gravitas to the company, obviously, uh, because the Cadbury uh, people have been very vocal about the fact that Kraft is just a, quote, plastic cheese company. Yes. So uh, this is going to help them. It's going to open up new markets. It's going to also reduce their risk as a business model. So I think this is going to be an excellent move for them. Just and it's going to be uh, well rewarded for the shareholders. The question, again, I, that I put to Yuri, Todd, is about price. The stock, by the way, Kraft, and I talked earlier about Cadbury over in the U.K. hitting an all-time high. Kraft in the pre-market is at 28.79, so it's down from 29.58. Uh, what about price? Paying too much, Todd? No, I don't think so. I mean, their bottom line is is that they needed to get into another market. They need to look mm -hmm. elsewhere. And if the global recovery is indeed taking place, they need to look overseas and they need to embrace that globalization. And until that happens, you're going to have a company that's going to be continue to be restricted here in this country. They're going to have to deal with regulations, obviously, with the uh, with food and drug and all that stuff. So, so the point being is that they needed to expand their horizons. And I think the price, yeah, they're paying a bit of a premium on it, but mm -hmm. it's actually going to be beneficial for the shareholders as well as to the bottom line of the organization. Todd Schoenberger, great stuff this morning. Thanks for joining us. And uh, Yuri Mann, as always, Thank as well. Thanks to both of you guys. Thank you. Now, uh, throughout the morning, we've been asking you that have been watching.